What's going on everyone? Today is the 29th of June 2023. We're going to talk about Shiba Inu today real quick and show you all why price got rejected at that 800 point level. You guys can already see it real quick, simple and easy. We already know why Shiba Inu got rejected at 800 points. It's because of the trend. This market in Shiba Inu is currently following a trend and it's to the downside. That is the trend that the market currently is going through in Shiba Inu and we're going to continue to follow that trend as long as price stays below this line. It's just that simple. Now, I did a video in Shiba Inu on the 18th of June. I was telling you all then that we were looking for the market in Shiba Inu to go up, and that is exactly what the price did. Hopefully, you was able to grab some of that profit out the market. The market did not reach our ultimate TP price, which is okay, because in between where the price was when we did our price prediction to where it ultimately went on the 22nd, we had price targets in between there. So if you guys haven't seen my last video for Shiba Inu, on the 18th, go back and check it out because we did hit profit on those other two targets. All right, so let's go ahead and take that away. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to try to identify, okay, yes, the market in Shiba Inu got rejected on this downtrend line, but it doesn't mean that the buyers are not gonna try again. Do you think the buyers into the market in Shiba Inu is gonna to try to break this downtrend line? First thing I wanted to show you is that even though one thing that we can see here is that price has broken this trend line that is started back on the 15th of June. So that's a negative thing for the buyers. On top of price getting rejected on this downtrend line, both of those things are negative for the buyers. If we were really bullish into the market in Shiba Inu, then one of these two lines would have been broken or at least maintained. If this market was truly bullish, price would have held this line to the upside, but it didn't. If the market in Shiba Inu was bullish, price would have broken this downtrend line to the upside neither of those things occurred so i'm just simply showing you what is the current environment right now in chibi inu on the daily time frame here it is on the two-day chart and this is what i term a probable precursor of strength simply means that in the next two days the next two-day price bar we will have to see the market in chibi inu come in and close higher than its previous two days we need to see that okay so this kind of like a wait and see period into the market in Shiba Inu. One thing I wanted to show you too, also is that this is a good thing, is that the buyers into the market in Shiba Inu stepped in right there around 700 points, just like they did here on this two day price bar on June the 20th, 2023. That is a good thing to see. Again, here it is on the three day chart. You guys can see that another probable precursor strength is being created on the three day chart. Here it is on the five. What do you think about the five day chart? Is it weak? Is it strong? What do you guys think? Take a look at Sona Weekly. Take a look at Shiba Inu on the monthly. We have one day and 14 hours left and we're still seeing this probable precursor of strength here in the market in Shiba Inu. Okay. Now I want to look at this on the hourly chart first to see if we're actually getting some strength into the market in Shiba Inu. Again, buyers stepped in here. You can see a little bit better here on this 13 hour chart just like they did here at this particular moment in time. So that's a good thing. Currently market is going up. So this is confirmation that yes, buyers are definitely here in the market in Shiba Inu. Here it is on the nine. Let's look at this on the seven hour chart. Okay. Take a look at this on the five. Okay. So right here is where the test is going to occur in the market for the buyers, 750 points. They're on their way. They're on their way. Excuse me. <laughs> they are on their way right now to that $750, $750 man. I need to co correct my verbiage. They're on their way to 750 points. This is where the test is going to occur in the market. Shiba Inu. Maybe they'll break it. Maybe not. What do you think? Here it is on the 330 minute chart for Shiba Inu. So all in all, I think the market is going to attempt to break this downtrend line again. So I'm going to continue to kind of be bullish into the market in Shiba Inu, but my only concern is 750 points. So I'm telling you out from off the rip, if the market in Shiba Inu does not go above 750 points, then you already know what's up. We're not gonna see the market attempt to go higher and break this downtrend line. So obviously, since we know that 750 points is a problem, that needs to be a target, okay? So let's go ahead and put this on the chart and I'll let you all go. 
So for us to get that 750 point, that's only for a first target, 1.49%. Like I said, I'm not overly excited that Shiba Inu is massively bullish because it's not because of those two issues that we talked about in the beginning of the video. But my, that's my first target. My second one is going to be here around 775 points. It's four and three quarters percent move there. Then my third target is going to try to take us outside of this downtrend line at 800 points. It's eight and a quarter percent move to the down to the upside. Okay. And as long as Shiba Inu holds price around 680, that is how we're going to play this mark. So we got a real tight area. Okay. So I'm not going to give you some outlandish price target I'm trying to show you that Shiba Inu is going to reach a penny. No, this is pretty much how the market currently is feeling in terms of sentiment off of the price chart. I'm done. Go ahead and give me a thoughts though. Let me know what you guys think. Are we going to see Shiba Inu continue to go up or down? Let me know. Make sure you maintain the profitability and as always, trade different.